welcome in our weekly seminar. Today we have a pleasure to, to host Piotr uh, Kopczak from uh, University of Wrocław. Uh, Piotr is a PhD student of Mark Nolzimas. Uh, from there, jointly with uh, Michał Sudziński from, from Gdańsk. And in his PhD studies, he focused mostly on various mathematical aspects of word based interpretation. Uh, and today he'll be telling us about what multifold based interpretation is from a group theoretical perspective. The floor is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity uh, to speak in front of you. And as Michal has already said, uh, today I'm going to describe a special case, a special variation of port based teleportation, which is called multi port based teleportation, which in short aims at teleportation of multiple quantum states at, at once. And in my presentation, I will focus on the possibility of uh, of, of, on the ability of uh, port-based teleportation like protocols to teleport multiple quantum states. So uh, that's the outline of my talk. In the beginning, I will quickly review quantum teleportation, the standard one that is probably familiar to most of you, and port-based teleportation, which is the basis for the, for the protocols that I will discuss in details later. Um, and then I will proceed to the merit of this talk, namely um, to the uh, task of teleporting multiple quantum states. First, I will deliver a lower bound uh, on the fidelity of teleportation <clears throat> uh, from, yeah, so maybe it's to the third already, but uh, I will de deliver a lower bound on the fidelity of the teleportation. And then I will uh, describe symmetries of MPBZ protocols uh, in detail so that we can uh, study uh, the performance of MPBZ protocols in, in generality. Uh, um, then I will deliver the results um, considering performance of, of MPBZ protocols and compare them with uh, pre-existing solutions for uh, basing on uh, PVT protocols that allow to teleport multiple quantum states. And in the last uh, in the last section, I will cover notion of entanglement recycling, which is another take on uh, teleporting multiple quantum states via uh, protocols that are stemming from PVT. Okay, so to begin with, uh, I believe we are all more or less familiar, so to quickly review, the original uh, quantum teleportation protocol introduced by Bennett and, and others in 1993 uh, consists of the following uh, entities. First of all, uh, two parties, usually Alice and Bob, share maximally in the entangled state. Um, Alice has a state, an unknown state, that she wants to teleport to Bob. She performs a joint measurement on her half of the resource and, and this unknown state. And uh, depending on the re result, she performs a measurement in a Bell basis. And uh, she, uh, she communicates the result via classical channel to Bob. And dep depending on the result uh, obtained by Alice, Bob applies uh, respective unitary correction. And um, this idea bases on, on, on such identity that an unknown state uh, coupled with a maximally uh, entangled state can be decomposed in such a way where here instead are Bell states between, between this unknown state and Alice and um, this previously unknown state on Bob's side together with uh, one of the families. Um, um, so whenever Bob receives, um, all right, so whenever Bob applies um, some unitary, sorry, it should be free here only, not too free. Whenever Bob applies some unitary to his uh, side of the resource, 
It means that uh, for a given k, this this joint state looks like that. So in particular case where k is equal to one, which which results uh, which corresponds to to this particular result obtained by Alice, uh, the um, joint state is uh, first bell state and application of u on this unknown psi. So we can say that the protocol of teleportation acted in that way that uh, in in the end uh, we applied some unitary u to to this unknown state psi. However, it does not hold in uh, in generality because for other case uh, this sigma does not do not necessarily necessarily commute. Um, so this protocol cannot be employed in order to implement um, implement the procedure of of uh, acting with some arbitrary unitary on an unknown state, and it is in in agreement with general theorem, so called no programming theorem, that uh, there is no such procedure called G that uh, with the presence of so called program state. Uh, can uh, which is of finite dimensionality can with unit probability and fidelity apply this uh, is uh, some unit unitary encoded in this program state to this unknown un, unknown state C psi. Uh, in terms in in case of standard teleportation, it works with probability one over four because only if Alice obtains zero. Uh, uh, the result is that uh, that the um, uh, state at, at Bob's side is uh, is u times psi. All right, so we can see this is an example where this unitary correction on the receiver side uh, receiver side is uh, some sort of a trouble. So let us imagine uh, another uh, protocol where. Um, we do not apply a unitary correction, but uh, let's think about something different. So maybe instead of applying uh, a unitary, let's think about choosing of some set of of states. And this is the scheme for so-called port-based teleportation. Uh, now, without uh, much details, but in general, port-based teleportation consists of a uh, entangled resource shared between Alice and Bob that consists of n pairs. Now it's n pairs instead of one pair. Um, and as, as it was uh, in the previous case, um, unknown state psi, the measurement performed by Alice, but now uh, the outcomes of this measurement uh, are labeled by um, entries from one to n, and depending on the on the outcome of this measurement uh, that is com communicated to Bob via classical channel, Bob just picks the appropriate appropriate port. So we can clearly say that picking a port commutes with applying some unitary. So this is a good candidate for this. So-called uh, universal programmable quantum processor. However, this no programming theorem must hold because the general result. So it means that uh, port-based teleportation cannot be exact. And there are two possibilities. Either, uh, either uh, the teleportation occurs with unit probability, but the fidelity of a teleported state is of a teleported state is limited. Or, on the other hand, uh, the teleportation can be perfect, but, but we must take, take into account some limited probability of failure of the whole process. Uh, and, me, uh -huh. can, you, can you please uh, come back to the definition of this uh, work based teleportation? So, uh, basically, you have uh, n channels or n Maximally yeah, okay. I'm not specifying it right now because it will depend on the variation. Let's say now these are n entangled parts. 
Oh, okay, uh, do, do, do I understand correctly that instead of performing the corrective uh, unitary, you just based on the classical communication on the result I, you pick one of yeah, the forces that's right. without any additional yeah. without any okay, additional sorry, thank you. manipulations. Yeah, that, that's right. So, yeah, so that's, that's uh, already known protocol. Uh, and all right, so uh, let's now go ahead. Go ahead. So, if we agree that either uh, fidelity is limited or the probability of uh, success of this teleportation is limited, we need to assess those quanti quantities to tell if this is a successful protocol. So, in case of deterministic uh, teleportation, this one where the probability is finite uh, is is uh, equal to unity and um, and uh, fidelity is smaller than one we are interested in the quantity like average fidelity of teleportation um, but due to the relation between uh, average fidelity of teleportation uh, um, uh, relation of this quantity to so-called entanglement fidelity which is the quantity that tells how well a channel preserves quantum coloration because it calculates the overlap between maximally entangled state with the maximally entangled state with one of its halves uh, teleport, uh, teleported or uh, sent through a quantum channel. So, um, uh, uh, so it could, uh, just technical question, can you okay. go back? So this capital fidelity, so this those maximally entangled states are not normalized in your definition, um, or they are. I believe they are not. Because in, uh, in in seven in equation seven you have uh, uh, like if the interpretation is perfect, this uh, f average, this f bar should be one, right? So so that corresponds to the capital F being d. Right. Uh, or... right, 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 right. F or D minus one. Uh, yes. So maybe. So we have said it again. So what, what was your? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. This is like okay, about so probably this capital F is is, is a normalized. Uh, oh, um, I think so. No. So like the fidelity can be one, the the one in equation eight, but the other one doesn't have to be the average one. Because no, that, no, but in the perfect case, that should be one. Yeah, right? if, if, what, uh, what if lambda was like if the teleportation, because basically yeah, yeah. those quantities they basically no, check how much in front of maximally entangled state can give you the maximally entangled state, but for like a different state, like for a for yeah, lambda, but, yeah, but average, if lambda right. is so, so, like identity channel, exactly, yeah, that yeah, it yeah. should be one. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. exactly, because yeah. those quantities they all check how close you are to oh. identity channel. All right, so so sorry, so maybe that's some sloppiness okay. in, in in the formula. I'll check it, right? So yeah, that's it can be per, per, it can be d squared times f minus one over d squared minus one, something like that. No? Uh, this, I well maybe the maximum value of f is d. Uh, so okay. So it uh, might be just like okay, this yeah. might okay. The that's, next formula suggests actually that it's uh, a typo because. Capital F is at most one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Clearly, yeah. Uh, yeah. capital yeah. fidelity, uh, capital F should uh, tend to one, right? So, yeah, probably that's some some type of right. So, sorry. So, uh, as I said, this this protocol is already known and and well well studied, and we've got um, uh, asymptotic results uh, proving that. Uh, in the asymptotic regime, it is let's say faithful faithful protocol because uh, this entanglement fidelity approaches one uh, as a uh, number of of this uh, size of this resource grows to infinity. And as to your question, uh, this is so-called standard protocol where the parties share n maximally entangled pairs, and uh, Alice acts with a square root measurement. There is also another uh, version of this protocol, so so-called optimized protocol, where Alice uh, performs some optimization procedure on her side. So this shared uh, shared state is no longer maximally is no longer n maximally entangled pairs, and in such scenario, 
uh, the asymptotic rate is even even better, which is quite surprising because we can see that in sport based teleportation, the resource which does not consist of maximally entangled pairs behaves better than the one that consists of maximally entangled state. It's just, I guess, I, you could say quite counterintuitive, but that's how it works. And I believe that it's still pretty cure, no unknown question why that behaves in the in that way. So can I have a question? So yeah, like, so do you need as many copies of the maximum entangled state as the number of outcomes you have in the measurements? Or yeah, yeah they have to correspond because in in case of probabilistic scheme, there will be one additional uh, measurement which uh, which I will tell about. But the idea is that they can, should correspond since uh, the outcome of a measurement should indicate at which port the particle arrives. So the, why you have like two different numbers, D and M? Uh, so N because, is all right, okay, good question. Because D is a local dimension. Local dimension. Yeah, sure, sure, so N should be D squared. No? Uh, no. no, we can have five qubits or five q trees. So why you need five q? I mean, so if because you, if you have qubits, you have like four outcomes, no? Well, okay. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm not sure if I understand your question correctly, but um, the point is that. Uh, so maybe uh, you rephrase it. Okay, so if I have a maximally intact state of two qubits, I can teleport a, a qubit state, and then I have like four outcomes, no, for the measurement, like well basis measurement. Uh, so yeah. I have to reformulate it in the form of the. No, 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 but it's a different setting. I, I say that. First of all, we do not uh, perform a projective measurement here. Uh, We've got a P of E M. Uh, okay, you you can have a coarse grain sort of right. So the the mm -hmm. the, the amount of uh, outcomes is not D squared. It can be less. Uh, no, no, no. It's 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 uh, tailored uh, in that way that it should correspond to the number of pairs. Pairs, but not the local dimension. No, 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 no. All right. Uh, so in the other scenario where the uh, fidelity is unit and we accept some probability of failure, and uh, there is uh, some one additional. So, uh, so perfect. Can I disturb you again? Uh -huh. So, like, can you move back to the slide? So, uh, the, you 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 presented those two protocols, like one so-called standard, the other optimized. So standard deterministic and yeah yeah the, the two deterministic protocols so they differ in dependence on n the number of, of ports yeah but also they differ on the like uh, dependence on local dimension right uh, so like performance of this one mm -hmm. in terms of local dimension is worse than the previous one right because the previous one had a quadratic dependence yeah so what is like is there a sense in which those protocols are somehow optimal uh, or they're just protocols that people just invented and they are happy with the performance? Uh, I'd say that, uh, that we, we uh, call this optimal with respect to fixed dimension and in terms okay. of synthetics with respect to n. I see. I'd say that that's the way it mm -hmm. goes. Okay. Thanks. All right. So on the other hand, uh, it, and it relates to your question, if we allow some uh, probability of failure, so our P of M should be extended with one additional element that corresponds to the failure in, in the whole process. And now the quantity of interest is the probability of obtaining uh, all those P of M's except for this one that corresponds to failure. And this quantity of interest is probability of success uh, in teleportation. And uh, in terms of probabilistic protocol, uh, the resource uh, results for standard protocol are expressed uh, with this uh, rather uh, compl com complicated uh, um, formula in terms of maximal, maximal eigenvalue of some random unitary Gaussian matrices. Uh, and in the uh, case of optimized resource and optimized measurements, 
uh, this probability of success is given by uh, this surprisingly close form formula. But this, as I mentioned, are results that are already known. And basing on them, we can say that port based teleportation is, let's say, faithful uh, way of teleporting um, teleporting uh, quantum states. And it, found, has, it has found uh, many applications. First of all, as a simulation of this universal programmable quantum processor in the asymptotic limit. Moreover, as a simulator of a uh, qubit channel, it was applied uh, in in um, in the, uh, the, the deliver, delivery of some um, equivalence be between quantum commun communication complex complexity and uh, violation of Bell inequality, as well as uh, the delivery of some lower bound of a discrimin discrimination of two QD channels. So we can say it's a successful protocol. And now to the main part. So we can ask a question because preparing this uh, resource, which we, we have already seen should be large, can be seen as a costly operation. So we can ask if uh, for a given resource, PBT can teleport one state uh, well, so how well, how many quantum states it can teleport, and that's the question uh, that I'm going to answer now uh, in this presentation. And first of all, there are already some possibilities. So the first possibility, let's say, some maybe more naive possibility, is to pack one uh, quantum state with higher dimensionality to pack more information into that. But as we have seen uh, from this previous result, uh, as the dimensionality grows, the, fide uh, the quality of this protocol uh, uh, sacrifices. So uh, we can uh, say, for example, of multiple uses of uh, the same result. And uh, this proto uh, pro protocol is called entanglement recycling, and I will discuss it uh, in the end. Uh, moreover, we can divide uh, this n port, port into k packages and perform k parallel PBT teleportation. And finally, we can uh, make a measurement on all k uh, unknown states and this n parts and teleport them at once. And I will now concentrate on this uh, possibility and then I will compare it to this one and show how much it, 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 why it is better. So now let's consider this scenario. Alice has K states to be teleported and as previously N pairs. So let's assume the simplest case with no optimization procedure. These are uh, N maximally entangled pairs. So uh, the teleportation channel acting of this psi C where C corresponds to uh, C1 to CK uh, is given in that way. Uh, in this expression, there, there appear so-called signal states, which are maximally entangled uh, states on between the ports AI and BI and maximally mixed states on all, um, all A ports uh, uh, apart from I, I will make, maybe I will draw it because it's not so uh, intuitive. Let's so port I, so B plus, and here are so these are maximally mixed states, and here is maximally entangled state, and this is sigma I. All right. And so I have a great. Huh? So we have like each port has uh, two, like two, like particle, uh, yeah, yeah, on, yeah. like our side, mm -hmm. but but both side only one particle for each port. Uh, no, that's not exactly the case because um, in the beginning Bob has n parts, but if you uh, if you look at the channel, you trace out the remaining ports where the particles did not arrive. You know, 
So when you've got, let's say, automatically, all right, so these are the ports where the particles arrived. So when Bob tra traces out the others, so this corresponds to B, the uh, measurement, uh, the uh, channel uh, outcome, right? So we uh -huh. neglect the other ports uh, that that uh, did not, where the particles did not arrive. All right. right. Sorry, maybe I okay. I also got confused. So, so is it so you want to teleport k particles, yeah. and you're gonna have capital N ports that is larger than k. Yes. And then uh, your clicks uh, would like the. And then your interpretation is that like you're gonna trace of upon getting some out classical outcome on other side, uh, the Bob would have to disregard everything except some like complement yeah. on some subset of qubits on Bob side, uh, Bob Bob uh, side of, that has size k. Again, but no, no, no. Basically, Bob discards uh, n n minus k. Yeah, so it will come to it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, this guy's everything, but uh, yeah, 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 that's right. But then you have, in principle, of, like how you choose which subset, like because you have a right. Uh, yeah. Cause... So now uh, this uh, number of subsets uh, is it's, uh, it's no longer uh, one number from one to n. Yeah. It, it's all possible subsets. Exactly, of given cardinality. Of cardinality k of set of one to n. Ah, and you'll be sort of expecting that in every, that when looking on those subsets, you'll be sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right. Uh, so uh, since the entanglement fidelity was uh, up to this normalization constant, uh, given in that uh, manner, uh, we are interested in principle in calculating the trace of uh, this uh, measurement P that Alice performs and the signal, st signal state uh, uh, sigmas. And um, well, it recalls the uh, expression for the probability of correct discrimination of an ensemble of State sigma i's with uh, with help of this uh, p of e and p i, uh, and they are related in uh, this manner. So from uh, this paper by Beji and Kenning, we know that that for a special p of e m, a square root measurement, this probability of correct discrimination of uh, of this ensemble of states is bound from below by this expression. So the now only technical difficulty is to calculate the trace of this row square uh, where oh sorry where rho is a sum of all signal states. Um, so the signal states, as I mentioned, are identities and uh, I plus or P plus on um, between ports A I and B I, and uh, these operators are so-called partial transpose permutation operators. And what are they? So let's first uh, recall what what are permutation operators. Permutation operator which acts on an um, n hold tensor product of d-dimensional complex space acts on basis vectors in such manner. Uh, partially transposed permutation operator, uh, which Pn is denoted in that way, is, uh, is transposed on n subscription. So uh, we've got some matrix op operator um, V, and we transpose it on the last uh, subsystem. So, um, we know that partial transposition does not uh, change the trace, 
and we know some combinatory relations between uh, traces of permutation operator, oper operators and their cycle structure. So this reasoning now uh, reduces only to combinatorical reasoning, which is pretty complicated, but still it can be said that it is pretty elementary because it's only combinatorics. And after some technical work, we can uh, say, calculate this trace uh, in that manner. Uh, from this, um, from this uh, previous result, uh, which uh, bounds fidelity from by this expression, we can have uh, the final result for this lower bound for uh, for fidelity. In fact, two two lower bounds, and the second one uh, shows by application of Bernoulli identity inequality that uh, this uh, fidelity in multi-port based uh, protocol approaches one as when go as n goes to infinity. All right. Uh, so this is let's say the first proof that these protocols. Uh, this uh, multi-port uh, protocols can be useful, uh, but we can uh, look at them in more in greater detail. So, as I already said, that uh, this uh, state sigma i are elements of algebra of Farkali transposed permutation operators, and this al algebra is generated by all permutation operators that are transposed on last k elements. And we've got some analogy to so-called sure vial duality, where, uh, oh, okay, so uh, maybe it's too fast, but um, yeah, so this sigma i, uh, the sigma states are uh, covariant with respect to action of symmetric group uh, on uh, n minus k elements, uh, where, oh, sorry, I think, uh, Okay, so I will just include it because um, small n is capital N plus K. So I, I believe it's missing in this frame, but it's uh, all right. Mm, so, uh, so yeah, so these um, uh, signal states are covariant with respect to action of Sn minus K or equivalently Sn. And um, they are invariant, invariant with respect to the diagonal action of unitary group of n minus k um, uh, entries and last k entries where the unitary uh, is complex conjugated. And finally, finally, uh, this MPVT operator row, which uh, trace of of which square was calculated early, earlier uh, is um, invariant with respect to s and minus k as well and so in analogy to survival duality where uh, when a uh, permutation operator commutes with a uh, diagonal action of unitary group uh, it results in the fact that um, n holds tensor product of D-dimensional complex uh, linear uh, space can be decomposed into sectors corresponding to ir irreducible representations of of um, uh, symmetric group, uh, and within these blocks they can be decomposed into sectors where only unitary group X and symmetric group X. We would like to perform the same simplification for the elements of this algebra. Um, and that will be uh, described here. And so, in principle, even further simplification is made because we do not discuss the whole algebra of partially transposed permutation operators. We distinguish one two sided ideal called M. It is an ideal span by the um, uh, by the product where uh, sorry sigma belongs to 
S and minus K. Mm, it's a product of um, of a transposition. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, I think I removed this uh, notation from the previous frame and it's lucky here. So by VK, I understand and a product of transpositions like um, so diagrammatically it can be seen as as if we've got all right uh, and okay all right so transposition between last and n minus 2k plus 1 and last but 1 and 2 minus k plus 2 and, and so on. So this ideal is uh, spun by such product. And so, so uh, just let me highlight a question. Why bother about this ideal? This because, object? yeah, because it's a very good question. Because all uh, the um, uh, 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 uh. Oh, I uh, this ideal is of relevance because both sigma i and rho belong to this ideal, and mm -hmm. the all uh, all um, elements of uh, that are uh, important for the per uh, in the description of uh, performance of uh, PBT uh, protocols live mm -hmm. in this ideal, and to be honest. This one is the easiest, easiest one to work with, and it's the only one basically where we were able to introduce an orthonormal operator basis. This orthonormal operator basis, which clearly fulfills such uh, multiplication relation, you can see that it's crazy indexed like four different indices, which are related to. Uh, irreducible representations of s and minus k and s and minus 2k um, are uh, connected uh, yeah so i'm not going to dive into into the description of of uh, of this uh, operator basis but what is important is that um uh, with this basis you can construct Onto orthonormal uh, projectors on uh, EREF of S and minus K. And moreover, this port based teleportation is uh, diagonal in this EREF. So it's, it is interesting, it, it, it described as a sum of these uh, um, um, projectors. So this allows basically to calculate these traces efficiently and express them in terms of. In terms of these quantities, uh, uh, describing uh, irreducible representations of symmetric group, uh, symmetric group. So uh, maybe to speed up a little bit because I've got some interesting slides to to show. Uh, the uh, entanglement fidelity in standard case, you can see it's even in analytic, but not closed for formula, these this quantities are combinatory ones, so they've got to be calculated numerically anyway. So that's why this lower bound uh, presented earlier is, is of some use because it was like elementary one. Uh, in case of the optimal scheme, you have to perform SDP and uh, all right, so maybe um, uh, I will skip to the comparison between uh, the standard uh, multiport based teleportation and this package uh, scheme, which I told earlier, the one that you uh, define. So, so okay, I wanted to, to ask. So, you mentioned optimal protocols. Optimal in what sense? Uh, the one that I earlier told that you optimize uh, the resource with, uh, where at least uh, applies some optimization procedure, this OA. 
Well, sure, sure. But uh, he, what is the... Mm, uh, the figure of merit? Exactly. So, uh, in, terms, in terms of deterministic protocol, it's entanglement fidelity. Yeah. And in the probabilistic protocol, it's probability of success. And you optimize with, right, with, right. With, 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 with these quantities in mind. Okay, but now you have multiples. Okay. Um, but the quantities of merit are still the same. You can still calculate entanglement fidelity, but now there is a product of, of mm -hmm. states. Okay, and then you don't have any more this relation maybe between entanglement fidelity and this interpretation uh, fidelity. Uh, you might not have it. I, I'm not sure. Okay. Because you have multiple states, right? Yeah, but uh, that are independent, but like basically the measure is different. Yeah, but right? teleportation again acts on multiple states, right? So maybe you can discuss it. Yeah. Later. Yeah. All right. So uh, comparing the uh, fidelity of start scheme where you divide uh, uh, these endpoints to K packages, we can see. Uh, that uh, circles describe uh, the lower bound uh, presented earlier for multiport protocol. So we can see that earlier uh, they outperform uh, this package PBT. But for every uh, dimensionality, at some point, uh, uh, for every, no, no, sorry, not dimensionality, but um, uh, for every k, and this is all this is all done for qubits. Uh, for every k, uh, this point where the package protocol overtakes multiport protocol uh, is further, further away, and it uh, inspires a question. Maybe that's the strength of these protocols. So maybe they uh, show better performance. When the message is large, because so suppose we want to ask, uh, we want to teleport infinity, infinity many states. We will, we want to allow number of states to grow in that manner. So this is the um, uh, chart where you can uh, you can um, see how the fidelities. Uh, or the lower bound and the packaged fidelity approach step functions because there are some um, values of exponent where both of them in in asymptotic limit approach one and for some uh, alphas only uh, the lower bound approaches one so we can say that a uh, limiting value of this lower bound uh, approaches one whenever alpha, this exponent, is smaller than one. However, for package PBT, this uh, limiting value approaches one only when alpha is smaller than two thirds. So we can see when we have a region where uh, which allows for faster growth of size of our message with the use of this multiport based teleportation. And uh, so I'd say that's my main take home message that even if multiport based teleportation protocols need not necessarily outperform other protocols that allowed to teleport multiple quantum states earlier in terms of fixed uh, quantities, asymptotically they allow for a higher rate of growth of message in comparison to uh, resource at hand. I believe that I will, I no longer have time to uh, describe entanglement recycling, but to say briefly only in two words, it's a procedure that employs uh, the same use of the resource for k times. So let's say we've got one state, we teleport it, then we mark this port that where the state was teleported, then we apply the teleportation to remaining resource, and again, and again, and again. And we want to know if this, such resource is uh, capable of teleportation, successful teleportation after such procedures. And uh, it is 
uh, expressed in terms of uh, fidelity. Now it's not uh, entanglement fidelity, but fidelity with respect to so-called to so idealized state. And it turns out that indeed it is. Uh, so for the higher dimensionality, the growth is slower, but uh, the result is positive. Okay, so sorry for uh, taking a little bit too long time, uh, too much time, but in a, in a, a, a nutshell, but what I wanted to show uh, in terms of in terms of the possibilities of um, MPPT protocols to teleport multiple parking states. The open questions is the comparison between MPPT scheme and recycling recycling scheme because as I have already mentioned, the recycling is assessed with respect to a different measure with respect to this fidelity between uh, resource resource state and idealized state and not in terms of entanglement fidelity and uh, in in general, the description of a post measurement state in PBT is still an, an unknown, uh, unknown question and uh, is an open question. All right. So, thank you very much. Thank you, Patrick, for, for a nice talk. We have time for questions or comments. Yeah. Uh, why this uh, description of the post measurement state is very uh, problematic? Uh, it's problematic from technical point of view. <laughs> it's, it's because uh, so it's interesting because, for example, um, uh, it's in, interesting from the point of uh, let's say probabilistic recycling because the scheme uh, here. Oh, maybe, but, but, but yeah. Before before we go into the details, do I understand correctly that you have some entangled resource and studies, and you perform some measurement, right? Yes. So where is the problem in describing the post measure or what do you mean by the description of the post measurement state? I'd say the um, like the spectral decomposition of the state, like ah okay okay okay, okay. mathematical structure mathematical state. structure yeah yeah so maybe I should have stressed it more like because in principle the state is there you know yeah yeah, yeah sure you can write it but you still do not know what 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 what's it for the the, the the property okay yeah yeah. yeah. Um, some other questions, please. So, at some point, you had this this plot with like triangles, uh, circles. Yeah. Can you go back to it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. I was too too fast. Uh, where where I want? I, I uh, here, yeah. So here we have like these two abbreviations: MPVT is what yes, is MPVT multi port based okay. teleportation scheme, and this is packaged optimal for port based teleportation because okay. okay. Uh, uh, come so, back, come back. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> well, because what was weird about this this uh, plot is that the optimal one is suboptimal, no? Like, so the optimal is uh, is marked by triangles, and then sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse. It's yeah, but like, yeah, but yeah, yeah. It, it, it's right, but uh, you're right. But um, uh, when we call it optimal, we we have to remember that it is optimal in comparison to standard one, right? So, uh, it's. I know this term terminology now is like the standard teleportation or the standard form. No, no, no. So because the, so that's that's I wanted to go back because I'm comparing to this package protocol where it is an optimal protocol when you uh, take into account the resource of si of size n times n divided by k. So if you compared it to a standard PBT. Mm -hmm. On the same resource, it would outperform. Mm -hmm. But we compare the product of fidelities of this k optimal protocols to the multi multi port based. So, so these are different species, species. So this terminology does not apply anymore. So it's optimal in comparison to the standard. Uh, can you come come back to the plot again? Uh huh. So the Am I correct that unless you go into the asymptotic regime, the circles are the best, right? Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, and for... even if you go asymptotically, you sacrifice just not so much. What are the blue triangles? Uh, blue okay, triangles correspond to K4, division 
into two packages. So it corresponds to teleportation of two quantum states uh, via uh, via this n n pairs. Okay. 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 So following uh, on the side of Catherine, so like, uh, what would be the optimal uh, teleportation protocol for uh, for port side based teleportation protocol for product of states? Because now here you had uh, the sequential scenario when you recycle, you uh, you had uh, packaging, mm -hmm. you had multiple based teleportation, and they perform well in different regimes, but uh, does it make sense to define the problem of finding so so, the optimal uh, I would say that, yeah. that with, uh, if you have some limited resource, this multi-port uh, schemes outperform uh, the standard ones uh -huh. always. You, it's, you cannot compare them to the recycling because as I have already said they are measured like uh, let's say in different uh, yes. quantities yeah so they are in incomparable and that's why this post measurement state is uh, interesting as well because if we knew how this post measurement state uh, looks we could calculate the entanglement fidelity uh, in the um, entanglement recycling scheme as well so for fixed um, fixed value of n fixed uh, size of, of port, uh, number of ports, uh, this multi-port uh, protocol outperform packages always. But there is another advantage to them. This but do they out okay it's clear that you, you showed that they outperform, but are they the best for this app? Because you have other tasks if I understand well now. Because uh, you sort of you you don't have arbitrary states, but you have tensor product states that you want to copy and perhaps you have different Figures of merit, right? Uh, so, uh, okay, okay. So maybe I do not understand the question that well now. Uh, so you, you you just want to teleport a product of states, right? Yeah. So so when you are discussing standard TBT and different variants of it, mm -hmm. you uh, you you had this entanglement fidelity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Entanglement uh, fidelity of teleportation, right? And then those you had sort of. Uh, average over all pure states in a given Cuban yeah, space yeah, yeah. there, right? But when you want to teleport now product of states, it's more natural to consider average over product of states yeah. in those definitions. So hence those so you are just you're okay, you're just using different uh, you'll be having different figure of merit, right? Uh, yeah, but Basically, so there's you can expect that maybe other quantities like other schemes outperform. Um, the, the, all right. So, but in terms of entanglement fidelity, the the, the multiport outperforms. The... Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is some technical. Okay. So discussion. that's that's yeah. something to be sorted yeah. out. But I'm pretty confident that they should coincide. But mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, any more questions or comments, please? So I wanted to ask about motivation to study this uh, teleportation because it sounds like you have to consume a lot of entanglement to get like yeah 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 that's right. So for, to be honest, maybe it's not of uh, that practical uh, merit. It's more like a conceptual one that you can teleport uh, quantum states without having to apply some unitary correction. Which which was useful in in in, in some other results uh, that were obtained with use of port-based teleportation protocols, uh, that ones that I mentioned earlier. So it's uh, maybe some more like let's say fundamental or conceptual uh, achievement, not not a practical one. Because you are right that the consumption of entanglement is is not in favor of this protocol. Mm -hmm. Last chance for maybe speaker, uh, maybe people that watched online that nobody asked anything. So, yeah. Okay. If there are no further questions, please. Yeah. Can you go back to the slide uh, explaining uh, the uh, more? Uh, uh, 
more or less about more, the more yeah <laughs> like like maybe you, you, you can go back to the uh, like explaining like some uh the optimal uh ah, well, from here yeah well can can you like like give me uh, like some like maybe like like brief uh, explain expression uh what kind of like optimization uh done on this one because like we so the previous like in, in the previous slide like you have like l l pairs of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like the state and uh, this is uh the LD and but you have but but after you done like some optimization, yeah, it can be like improved. So the but there have like the same amount of the entanglement. So but well, I I was wondering like which one is the what kind of like state is better than the so uh, basically uh, you postulate that so yeah so basically it's a SDP so you uh, apply this uh, OA. Mm -hmm. This uh, local um, local optimization on Alice's side, and so you solve SDP, and from in in terms of you postulate uh, that this OA fulfills fulfills some symmetries with respect to the symmetry group, and it turns out that uh, the strong duality holds there, mm. and uh, and the solution for for the uh, fidelity in this optimized case is exact and it outperforms the, uh, the the ordinary or standard standard teleportation. But yeah, it's it's somehow mysterious how uh, let's say maybe not spoiling but distracting this entanglement because intuitively and maximally entangled pairs should allow for the best teleportation yeah. and it's and it's pretty pretty surprising. And there is no good answer for that, no, yet. I agree. Thank you. So, can I just have high level comments to, to that? Because, like, those protocols you performed, you have two sides to it. You have uh, entanglement that is shared, but also you have a measurement that is performed on the Alice side. And you can basically also understand, if I understand well, this OA as just parts, you can put it to the, the measurement of the, yeah, the Alice it, side. It, Right. So so like uh, so then then like from that perspective, so so you know you have like two kind of things in your game. You have entanglement that's shared, and the again the the, the, the measurements that is performed on the, on the half of the system, and then uh, then then uh, you know maybe it's not so surprising that if you insist measuring one specific way, some optimization like some federal operation can enhance it, right? Because probably the full thing. Optimization, what would have to do? What if we just do just optimize over all POVM that is performed on the on the Alice side? Yeah, so right. and it, technically it's it is equivalent to some rotation of these POVMs that were deployed in this standard protocol. No more questions. If not, let's thank Piotek again.